Hey y'all, my name is Mara. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to YA Book Talk. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below for more book related content. I upload reading vlogs, wrap ups, TBR games, and more. I also want to highlight that I do have a TikTok down there as well because today is all about book talk. I have book talk myself. I've actually done an entire reading vlog where I tried out TikTok trends and I read TikTok book recommendations, which you can go watch in the cards and in the description if you'd like. But I am not new to book talk, okay? I love book talk. I actually have found some really great recommendations through it and I I wanted to go through it with you guys today and react because there's been a lot of different reaction videos circulating around booktube. There was a video from Throne of Pages as well as Pages of Haley. So those two creators are definitely responsible for starting this trend. So I'll have their videos linked down below for you to go check out after this one. I don't really know how to start this video. So I am going to pull up TikTok, pull up more specifically YA Book Talk. And I'm a little bit scared. Oh wait, I need to screen record. <laughs> Why am I scared as if I'm not on YA Book Talk every day of my life? cute. I like that. It's super creative. It says, if you like this show, read this book. I have not watched any of those shows. I've watched Criminal Minds and it gave me nightmares. So I don't know if I want to read the book recommendation for it, but I like the creativity. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, but the one that really got me was the first one where it says when the main character kisses the wrong person, I felt that in my soul because I always feel like I'm on the losing side of any love triangle ever. So I felt that, I felt that. I honestly don't understand this TikTok and maybe that's just because it's for Red Queen and I read that forever ago, but I just want to say I don't want to hate BookTok for loving any particular book. I'm glad that there's a whole community of readers on the platform, but why is everyone so obsessed with Red Queen? I read that when it was popular on BookTube and I hated it. It was so bad. So like, again, if you like the book, like fine, whatever, I'm happy for you, but like why Red Queen? Of all YA fantasy, why Red Queen? And I feel bad because this is Victoria Aviar, the author herself. I just don't get this TikTok. I just, I don't understand. The pain was actually just reading the book, not the specific chapter that you're referring to. The whole thing was painful in my opinion. <laughs> Ayo, my sister who doesn't read picks out my book check. Pick out the praise book. Okay, this one was funny. This is actually one of my favorite book talkers, Money Reads. And the fact that she made her sister choose different books for this is hilarious. I think she's actually the funniest book talker I follow. I love all of her videos. What's really sending me about this one is the fact that they pulled out Daisy Jones for the ugliest book. Listen, I don't love the cover, but the inside of that book is pretty enough to carry it, okay? I will not see any Daisy Jones slander <laughs> on the timeline. I refuse to see it. So this one says, comment a book quote that absolutely broke you. I know mine and I'm not ashamed to say it. It's break my heart, break it a thousand times. It was only ever yours to break anyways. My inner middle schooler is coming out. I love this election unapologetically. I belong on YA Book Talk because of that. 
And if it's not in the comments section, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because that literally sends me every time. <laughs> Someone in the comments section said, does anyone know how to download the comments section? There must be some good responses in here. If you are the sun, brilliant and golden and unstoppable, then I am the moon, weathered and dependable, but shining only because of someone else's light. What book is that? Oh, there's a part two, and hiding a dark side that everyone knows about anyway, even if they've never seen it. <laughs> Not them saying that they can't remember the title of the book. Are you serious? Why would you want me to read that and then you don't even know what book it's from? It clearly can't be that good of a quote if you don't remember what the book is. Well, that's disappointing, but I guess it's a good thing because it's one less book to add to my TBR because that's never ending. There's a difference between loving someone and not being able to live without them. Okay. Oh, here it is. Break my heart. Break it a thousand times if you like. It was only ever yours to break anyways. Max and Shreve Nation Rise. I'm liking this comment <laughs> because same. Okay, moving on, moving on. We've spent far too much time on this one TikTok. That's funny, and I love Mika. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Besides the internet fame, I can relate to this. I remember watching a YouTube video when I was in middle school and my life has literally been changed forever because Emma Books posted about the Shadow Hunters and I needed someone to talk to about the Shadow Hunters. So that's how I discovered BookTube and my reading has permanently changed because of that. I literally have been reading all my life because of BookTube. So I'm glad that BookTok is doing the same thing for other people like BookTube did for me. Like that's so cool. Reader tells you which books are worth your money at Barnes and noble, so we're the my favorite book ever. Topic so dumb. One thousand percent, yeah, absolutely, yes, yes, yeah. Full therapy session in a book, but yeah, yes, it's so cute. Okay, so Legendborn obviously taste right there. One of my favorite books of last year, one of my favorite books of all time, so Definitely love that that's included in this TikTok. I need to read The Black Flamingo and I also really need to read You Deserve Each Other. So I guess I will have to prioritize those after seeing this TikTok. I was wondering when Crave was gonna show up. Um, I'm currently reading it. I'll save my thoughts for later, but I had a feeling it was gonna pop up on YA Book Talk because I wanna read it because of YA Book Talk. <laughs> I love this. This is another one of the Netflix recommendations videos and I actually have seen some of these shows. So I do really enjoy The Vampire Diaries. Am I enjoying Crave? Time will tell. I also like that they had a recommendation for Once Upon a Time. That was one of my favorite shows when I was in middle school and just growing up. So I would love to read Cinder. I did not think of that comparison. I've never actually committed and read the book because it just never interests me. It's always just been kind of there in the background for me. But if it's like Once Upon a Time, a girl might have to do it. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You write to jail. You mm -hmm. undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. You overcook chicken, also jail. Yes, this TikTok right here. My biggest pet peeve when I own books is when they're different heights. Even so slightly, I'm like, you knew the dimensions of the first book. Why are you switching it up in the middle of the series? Also, movie covers and changing the covers midway through a series is the absolute worst. I agree with that, jail time. Right away. This is your sign to get a book stamp. 
Okay, that is really cool and I want one, but also I like to get rid of books if I don't absolutely love them. So I would need to like know which ones to stamp in advance. And I feel like I would go crazy because I'd want to stamp all of them and then I'd want to unhaul them. And then Half Price Books is going to be like, why does this say this belongs to Meredith's library? <laughs> but I really like the idea. It's really, really cute. And I definitely want one one day when I have my own library, my own personal book collection that can expand from a book cart. I think that would be super, super cute. You lost me when you were holding the betrothed. No. The betrothed was awful. The betrothed was so bad. So I, I'm a reader and I'm confused by this book talk, but you know what? I'm happy you enjoyed it, or at least I hope you enjoyed it. BookTok is gonna make me reread this election right now. <laughs> right for you now. This quote from The Darkest Minds, give me one reason why we can't be together and I'll give you a hundred why we can. I need to read that immediately because I just read Lore by Alexander Brecken and I've never read The Darkest Minds. So that might, that might have convinced me to pick it up very, very soon. I'm excited for that. <laughs> For real, what I would give to just live in a castle. <laughs> I want that so bad. <laughs> Hi. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Are you okay? God, I want a friendship like theirs that will go get you a book after crying. I can't, that's so pure. I love that. I am actually about to read To Kill a Kingdom. So this is exciting that the tagline is, I was sent to kill you. I'm intrigued. I love that for me. <laughs> hey, do you like books? Oh my gosh, See, Do you like books and the main characters try to kill each other? Like literally within the first five pages, but then they meet and then communicate. And also they're Vikings. Enemy Vikings. Enemy Vikings who have to share a living space due to unforeseen circumstances. And you know what happens next. Meet Sky in the Deep. I finished reading this at 4 a.m. last night. And look at the good time I had. I have never wanted to buy a battle axe more. My one critique is that the ending is too short, but this makes up for it. So if you're looking for something to add to your TBR, I just recommend starting it in the morning and not 11 p.m. at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so funny i didn't know that a book could make you want to purchase a battle axe but now i'm very intrigued about that book and i need to get off book talk because i'm just going to add 200 books to my tbr that is already 200 books long and i physically cannot handle that so i'm going to sign off of book talk for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching my reactions like i said before i do have my own book talk which i will link down below for you to go check out if you're interested i will also have my reading book talk book recommendation 
Recommendations video linked down below for you or Can We Trust Book Talk. I have all my social medias linked down below as well as ways that you can support my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all!